Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about the base and the exponent. In the story, the minister Gyandev was ready to fulfill what the greedy man who invented the new game asked for, provided that the man could arrange all the bags required for the grains before sunset. Why did the minister ask so? Was that really an impossible task for the greedy man? Couldn't he arrange the bags required for all the grains? Let us see. What the greedy man or the villager who invented the new game asked for in the story. It was impossible to give. Even the king couldn't. The villager asked one grain for the first square, two grains for the second square, four grains for the third square, eight grains for the fourth square, sixteen grains for the fifth square and so on, doubling the number of grains each time for all the sixty-four squares of the chessboard. Thus, he would get 2 to the power 20 or 10,48,576 grains for the 21st square. For the 22nd square, he would get double of it, which is 2 times of 10,48,576 amounting to 20 lakhs. 97,152 which is 2 to the power 21. Not only that, as he was receiving grains for all the squares, the grains for all the squares would sum up to a monstrously huge number which was not available even in the whole kingdom. But why was arranging the bags so big a problem? Let us understand it with an assumption. Say he arranged big bags that could hold more than 10 lakhs or 1 million grains. That is 2 to the power 20 which is 10 lakhs 48,576 grains per bag. Now let us calculate the number of bags required using this assumption. The 21st square had 2 to the power 20 grains and we assumed one bag could carry 2 to the power 20 grains. So the number of bags required for the grains at 21st square would be 2 to the power 20 divided by 2 to the power 20. Now let's solve 2 to the power 20 divided by 2 to the power 20. Using the law of exponents, it becomes 2 to the power 20 minus 20, which is equal to 2 to the power 0. And again, using the law of exponent, we know 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1. So the number of bags required for the grains at 21st square is equal to 1. What about 22nd square? The 22nd square had 2 to the power 21 grains. And we assumed one bag could carry 2 to the power 20 grains. Which means the number of bags required would be 2 to the power 21 divided by 2 to the power 20 which is equal to 2 to the power 21 divided by 2 to the power 20 and this is equal to 2 to the power 21 minus 20 which is equal to 2 to the power 1 and we know this is equal to 2. So for the 22nd square the bags required is equal to 2. Similarly, for the 30th square, the number of bags would be 2 to the power 29 divided by 2 to the power 20, which is equal to 2 to the power 29 minus 20. 
hence 2 to the power 9 which means 512 bags for the 51st square he would get 2 to the power 50 grains so the bags required would be 2 to the power 50 divided by 2 to the power 20 2 to the power 50 minus 20 is equal to 2 to the power 30 so 2 to the power 30 bags were required just for the 51st square and this amount was equal to 1 billion 73 million 741 thousand eight hundred and twenty four bags that's a lot similarly for the 64th square itself he would need 2 to the power 63 divided by 2 to the power 20 which is equal to 2 to the power 43 bags which is equal to 8 trillion 796 billion 93 million and 22,208 bags too many bags right so you can imagine how many bags for all the squares these many bags would be impossible to arrange that too in a day so from this assumption that each bag could carry 10 lakh grains or 1 million grains it would be impossible for the villager to get the required number of bags to carry all the grains that too in a day before sunset so as we can see it is very clear that the minister Gyandev had equally good idea about the exponents as the villager had so the villager fell in his own trap. Gandev the minister clearly knew with the number of grains doubling on each square, the number of bags required would also increase drastically. If we add the number of bags required for each square, we would get a monstrously huge number. And hence, it was impossible to arrange so many bags that to before sunset by the villager. So children, never use your intelligence to trick others as you might yourself get trapped due to overconfidence. That's all for now. Bye bye children.